The Supreme Court reconvenes Monday, and prior to their return to the bench, several of the justices made public appearances where they insisted their decisions are driven by the law and not by political opinions. They think you're anti-abortion or something personally. They think that that's the way you always will come out. They think you're for this or for that. They think you you become like a politician. I think the court was was thought to be the least dangerous branch, and we may have. Uh, become the most dangerous. In December, the Supreme Court will hear a case concerning a Mississippi abortion law, which blocks access to most abortions after 15 weeks. On Saturday, crowds gathered outside the Supreme Court and in more than 600 cities around the country for the annual Women's March. Many wanting to send a message to the Supreme Court to uphold Roe v. Wade. A smaller crowd of pro-life supporters also gathered outside the Supreme Court. The fight continues, and so we're not giving up. What's going on in Texas and what they're going to decide is could have an impact on every woman's life in this country. I know some of the people here who are supporting abortion, and I don't hate anybody. I just want to show them, you know, you don't have to be anything conservative, Republican, or religious to oppose abortion violence. Also on the docket, in early November, the court will take up a challenge to New York restrictions on carrying a gun in public, a case which could offer the court a chance to expand gun rights under the Second Amendment.